Florida's Emergency Operations Center is at a level one right now. Mike Vaseline is along the northern Gulf Coast and spoke to someone who's from Jacksonville. Bill Adams of Jacksonville wasn't taking any chances pulling his 37-foot boat out of the water at Keaton Beach. Just came here to get everything battened down. Some say it's coming in, some say it's not. Huh? The Williams family from Valdosta rents here year-round. Why are you deciding to pack it up? Because it's going to have a bad surge, three to five. So you think you'll be wet here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They had planned to go scalloping today and spend the rest of the week here. Instead, Elsa has sent them packing. I'll be honest, I don't know. Everybody's got a different opinion about it. Uh, we're just not going to take any chances. Take it home. The campground owner telling us. Some are waiting it out. Some are, yeah. If you can wait until last minute, they wait until last minute. If not, they get prepared and leave. When Hermine came roaring through here in 2016, she pushed nine feet of water up into this RV park. Could be a cat one, like we had during Hermine. Okay. So we're, we're worried about that. Flood maps covered a table at the Taylor County Emergency Operations Center. As of midday, evacuations were still voluntary. Like we usually have our storms later in the you know the season, and this is a really early one. Does that surprise you? It does. It does. Usually, our the peak time is October, and that's usually when we see storms of this magnitude. And by Wednesday afternoon, those who stayed will know if they made the right decision. Reporting from Keaton Beach, Florida, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, The Local Station.